Hey man, how you doing? Welcome to the third installment of the Quarantine Chef Chronicles. I'm your host and chef, Jerry Saunders, also known as the Quarantine Chef. You probably wonder why I got the fake Jamaican accent. No, I'm not from the islands, but I had a serious craving for something that I really, really love. Jamaican jerk chicken. Let's get to it. So this recipe calls for a few things. One, you want some five spice powder. You're gonna use a tablespoon of that. Two, you wanna get some allspice. You can use the whole berry. I didn't have any in this case, so I had the ground Jamaican allspice in my cabinet, which I love. You're gonna use a tablespoon of that. The next thing you're gonna use is some nutmeg. You can grind it yourself or you can get the powder. You're gonna use a teaspoon of that. You wanna get about a teaspoon of thyme leaves. You're gonna get a tablespoon of ground black pepper, a teaspoon of salt. You're gonna need about a tablespoon of vegetable oil. You're gonna need three fourths of a cup of soy sauce. You're gonna get two to three scotch bonnet peppers. I'm going to use three because I'm crazy like that and I like spicy stuff. You can use two if you like it less spicy. One thing to note, scotch bonnet peppers are about 40 times hotter than jalapenos, so you want to use caution. I'm going to use gloves when I handle the scotch bonnet peppers because in some cases, scotch bonnet peppers are known to cause caustic burns on the skin. You're going to get about three stalks worth of green onions chopped. You're gonna get two to three cloves of garlic that you're going to chop. You want one medium-sized yellow onion that's also gonna be chopped. A bonus ingredient I'm gonna add is mild Jamaican jerk seasoning. I did a little research and talked to my friends who are from the islands, and they said that this seasoning is the next thing as close as you can get to the authentic seasoning at the store. The last thing you wanna get is four pounds or so of chicken. I prefer dark meat because it seems a little bit more flavorful than white meat. You can use whatever you want. Either way, it's gonna turn out good. One thing that'll, that'll be helpful for you also is to have a food processor like this bad boy I got from the store. If you want to do it by hand, you can, but this makes things a lot easier. And this is what I'm going to use to make the Scotch bonnet paste that's going to go into my chicken. We're going to make a serious blend tonight and marinate the chicken. It's going to be the bomb. This is, from my research, the closest thing you can get to being in Jamaica or having a Jamaican grandma. I don't have either, but follow me so you can make an authentic recipe. I got gotcha. you. So now we got our food processor here with all of our ingredients added for the scotch bonnet paste. We got our chopped onions. We got our chopped bonnet, I'm sorry, scotch bonnet peppers. We also have all of our seasonings and our garlic. The next thing we're gonna do is blend this up into a paste consistency. And while we're blending, we're gonna add one half cup, and I misspoke earlier, I said one third cup. It's actually one half cup of soy sauce and our one tablespoon of vegetable oil. Let's go. We now have our scotch bonnet chili paste complete, and you want to blend it to a paste consistency. Next, we're gonna add in our chicken, and we're gonna mix it with some of this Jamaican jerk seasoning. It's smelling great. Let's just understand it's gonna taste even better. So here we have our Scotch Bonnet chili paste, and I've already added the Jamaican jerk seasoning to the bowl. We're gonna mix this up and add our chicken. So at this point, I've got my chicken out. I patted each of the pieces of chicken dry because it helps to absorb the Scotch Bonnet seasoning mixture better and the water dilutes the flavor, so it's better to pat your chicken dry. 
I've also went ahead and loosened the skin up so I can get some of the Scotch bonnet mixture up under the skin. This helps to enhance the flavor and you get the seasoning all over your chicken, not just the skin. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply the Scotch bonnet mixture onto the chicken. You probably want to use gloves at this point because Scotch bonnet peppers are about 40 times hotter than jalapenos. And there have been some reports that the peppers being handled with bare hands have caused some caustic burns. So take care of yourself, just like I'm about to. Use gloves and coat your chicken. Now we got our chicken fully covered in our Scotch bonnet mixture. We're gonna cover this and let it marinate over two days. That's where the real magic happens. This chicken is good to go. Let's put it in the fridge. And we'll be back when it's done marinating. Stay tuned. We're now back and it's been about 48 hours of marinating the jerk chicken. I'm gonna put the chicken on the smoker. Check this out. I have a, an indoor smoker here um, and I use this because I don't have a yard. For those that do have a yard and a grill, Grilling is actually the ideal way to cook jerk chicken. But for me, who does not have a yard, I got a smoker. And if need be, I also have an indoor grill that I'm gonna to use to crisp up the chicken. It's gonna be great. So I got my chicken on the smoker here. I'm gonna cover it up right now and we'll watch the magic happen. It takes about 45 minutes to an hour to smoke and make sure that you rotate the chicken frequently so it doesn't burn on one side and it cooks evenly. I'll get back to you when it's done. So here is my finished product. We got some authentic Jamaican jerk chicken. And of course you have to have a side which is why I decided on rice. And as I told you in my previous videos, one of my favorite rices is Zetaran's Caribbean rice. It's the perfect mix of sweet to go along with spicy. So this is another episode of the Quarantine Chef Chronicles. Again, I'm your host, the Quarantine Chef, Jerry Saunders. I don't know what you're gonna do, but I'm about to eat. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is the Quarantine Chef signing off. Until the next time.